is Sienna Bells. Welcome to my channel, Learning Bells Live. Today, we are going to talk about anatomical terminology. So, let's begin. Today, we will talk about terms in relation to the upper limb first. Upper limb. Our first term is anterior. Number one, anterior or ventral aspect. That makes the front aspect. The next term is posterior. Number two, posterior or dorsal that means the back aspect. Moving on to medial. We discussed that medial meant near to the median line. That means the center of the body. In case of the upper limb, in the medial part of the upper limb comes the little finger, the little finger, and the medial borders of the forearm and arm. Medial borders of forearm and arm. Next, we have lateral. Lateral. And the lateral section makes away from the median line. And what are the components of the upper line coming in the lateral part? They are the thumb, the thumb, and the lateral borders of the arm and forearm. Lateral borders of arm and forearm. That was about lateral. Next up, we have the palmar aspect. Palmar aspect, and this aspect is the front part of the palm. That is palmar aspect. And number six tells us dorsal aspect of the hand. Dorsal aspect of the hand. We discussed previously that posterior meant dorsal. But this is the dorsal aspect of the hand, which means the opposite of the palmar aspect. This is the dorsal aspect of the hand. Coming up with our next terms, but before that, we may take a look at the board. In relation to upper limb, we have two more terms to discuss. Number seven, flexor aspect. Flexor aspect. And it, it is similar to the anterior aspect, which means the front aspect. And the opposite is extensor aspect.
it's denser aspect, which is the opposite of the flexor aspect. That means behind the back aspect, similar to posterior. Now we have finished discussing about terms in upper limb. We will move on to terms in relation to the lower limb. But before that, you might take a look at the board. Moving on to terms in relation to lower limb. Terms in relation to lower limb. Let's begin. First, we have the game anterior. Anterior means the front aspect. Next, posterior. That means the back aspect, the opposite of anterior. Moving on to medial aspect. Number three, medial. And this medial aspect consists of the big toe, the big toe, or in other words, the hallux, big toe or hallux. And the medial borders of the leg and chi. Medial borders of leg and chi. Moving on to lateral. Number four, lateral. And the lateral consists of the little toe, of little toe, and the lateral borders of the leg and thigh. And lateral borders of leg and thigh. Next, we have proximal. Proximal. And two terms which I forgot to discuss in upper limb are proximal and distal, which means near to the root of the limb that is applicable in both lower limb as well as upper limb. Proximal and distal. Proximal means near to the root of a limb, like in case of upper limb, this is the root of my hand. And the distal, the distal means away from the root. That means my fingers. My fingers are away from the root of my upper limb. And similarly, we can even say that in the lower limb. That was proximal and distal. Before we move on to the next few terms to discuss in lower limb, you might take a look at the board. We have flexor aspect. Flexor aspect. And this flexor aspect, in case of lower limb, it is the back aspect, similar to posterior. But in contrast to upper limb, in upper limb, the flexor aspect is the front aspect, whereas in lower, it is the back aspect. And obviously, the opposite is extensor aspect. Extensor. aspect, 
the center aspect in case of the lower limb is the front aspect, similar to anterior. That means an upper limb, flexor and extensor, main front and back, respectively, whereas in lower limb, flexor and extensor, main back and front, respectively. Now you might take a look at the board. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share, and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.